Here with head coach Bobby Barbier, the Demons taking on Austin P in the three-game series. And coach, let's go back to what feels like maybe about a year ago, the last time you played. It's a situation you're going to be in a lot this year where you don't play for a while. You played Saturday, you had a great walk-off uh, home run to sweep a doubleheader with Tarleton. I know you and most of the guys probably want to be right back out there, but this year, not a lot of midweek games. It's going to take some getting used to. Yeah, it will. It's different. You know, I mean, but, I mean, if anything, over the last 13 months, we've we've learned that the difference is going to be the, the norm. You know, so I think that uh, I think we just have to. It's almost like a football weekend week schedule. You know, we have to figure out how we want to prepare. You know, each day of the week. I think it allows us as coaching staff, especially with all the technology we have nowadays, to be better prepared for opponents. Um, and and do a better job of self-scouting, you know, do a better job of, you know, when I come off that that weekend, we have more time to really evaluate what else we have, what else, what we can do to improve uh, from the weekend before. And I think our staff's done a good job of that and our players have reacted well in, in practice. So hopefully get out there a good day today and, and be ready to go tomorrow. Once again, at the Bistro, always a good thing. And hopefully maybe a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, where you have a little bit of normalcy, although like you just said, you're not, not really counting on it. Uh, what did you see in this past week that you really liked now that you've had a little time to sit back and kind of analyze what happened in those three games against Tarleton? Well, I thought on the mound especially, we, we competed well. I mean, I think despite every guy that ran out there, competed in the strike zone, which is different than it was the first weekend. First weekend, we pitched okay. I mean, as far as except the last game, I guess. But um, we, we didn't compete as well in the strike zone. So having some consistency, seeing us getting better um, at that, you saw the couple freshmen hit the mound again for the first time. and uh, But then, that, you know, having those short weeks or those three-game weeks, now, you know, we had to get on the mound yesterday, you know, an inter-squad game, because we got a lot of the guys that are going to help us throughout the year didn't get a chance to pitch. And I'm looking forward to seeing that bats get better, you know, as we keep going, um, as different guys kind of get opportunities in there. And, and just as you get more at bats for them to be better, just to compete a little better in the strike zone. Uh, and those are bats told we did a better job with, with strikeouts, you know, than we did the first four games. So just looking to keep improving and getting better. And, and uh, obviously Gabe's hit was hopefully that gets going a little bit offensively. Uh, the bullpen, you touched on it, but those guys were, were lights out against Tarleton, uh, and they were really good against Southern Miss and, and until that Monday game. And so all in all, I mean, you're building some depth and, and looks like some quality depth coming out of those guys. Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, when you throw young guys, when you throw Drayton Brown and Alex Karowitz out there for the first time, it, you don't know exactly what you can get. You know what your eyes have seen, you know, but it's 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 tough on young guys, you know, to get out there for the first time. And, but they they they've responded well, and you know now now how do they respond when there's some expectation, you know, and and you know I think Donnie and some of the older guys have, have done well also, and um, Drake Smith has been good both times, and there's others that I'm forgetting. And again, like I said, we still have five to eight that through yesterday in a scrimmage that we that we count on, and we we know we can count on them. Um, that'll get their shot, especially when we start increasing this thing the four game weekend. So I'm 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 happy I'm happy with where they are, but I. You know, I've always said I, when you when you have success early, you can't let that make you complacent. Uh, almost rather get hit in the mouth a little bit early because it makes you hungry, you know. And uh, we got that a little bit at Southern Miss. But don't be complacent with success. There's a reason you, you're, you're here. Now, understand, I think can change quickly if you don't keep working. We'll have Austin P here for three games starting Friday night. Travis Jansen, former Demon assistant, is back. And I believe you and he overlapped uh – I think two years of your playing career. Yeah, yeah. Travis, Travis coached me when I was here, so um, I saw he had an opening, and we reached out to each other and, and got it done. So it was. I'm happy he's getting back to town. I hope some some guys from town that that know Travis come out to see him. You know, they got a good team. They uh, I mean they played Tennessee last night, five to three, and I think Tennessee's you know top twenty type team. So it'll be it'll be a good challenge for us. Um, it'll be a good opportunity to get better. I it's like a broken record. But that's what it is. It's a good opportunity to come out and get some at-bats and get better. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you.